Orthotics, Wikipedia article audio. Orthotics is a specialty within the medical field concerned with the design, manufacture and application of orthoses. An orthosis is an externally applied device used to modify the structural and functional characteristics of the neuromuscular and skeletal system. An orthodist is the primary medical clinician responsible for the prescription, manufacture and management of orthoses. An orthosis may be used to Manufacture and materials Classification Upper limb orthoses Types of upper limb orthoses Lower limb orthoses Foot orthoses Ankle foot orthosis Ulcer healing orthosis Knee ankle foot orthosis Knee orthosis Prophylactic, functional and rehabilitation braces Spinal orthoses Orthodists Canada United Kingdom United States Iran Orthotics combines knowledge of anatomy and physiology, pathophysiology, biomechanics, and engineering. Patients who benefit from an orthosis may have a condition such as spina bifida or cerebral palsy, or have experienced a spinal cord injury or stroke. Equally, orthoses are sometimes used prophylactically or to optimize performance in sport. Orthoses were traditionally made by following a tracing of the extremity with measurements to assist in creating a well-fitted device. Subsequently, the advent of plastics as a material of choice for construction necessitated the idea of creating a plaster of Paris mold of the body part in question. This method is still extensively used throughout the industry. Currently, CAD slash CAM, CNC machines, and 3D printing are involved in orthotic manufacture. Orthoses are made from various types of materials, including thermoplastics, carbon fiber, metals, elastic, EVA, fabric, or a combination of similar materials. Some designs may be purchased at a local retailer. Others are more specific and require a prescription from a physician, who will fit the orthosis according to the patient's requirements. Over-the-counter braces are basic and available in multiple sizes. They are generally slid on or strapped on with Velcro, and are held tightly in place. One of the purposes of these braces is injury protection. Under the international standard terminology, Orthoses are classified by an acronym describing the anatomical joints which they contain. For example, an ankle foot orthosis is applied to the foot and ankle, a thoracolumbosacral orthosis affects the thoracic, lumbar, and sacral regions of the spine. It is also useful to describe the function of the orthosis. Use of the international standard is promoted to reduce the widespread variation in description of orthoses, which is often a barrier to interpretation of research studies. Upper limb orthoses are mechanical or electromechanical devices applied externally to the arm or segments thereof in order to restore or improve function, or structural characteristics of the arm segments encumbered by the device. In general, Musculoskeletal problems that may be alleviated by the use of upper limb orthoses include those resulting from trauma or disease. They may also be beneficial in aiding individuals who have suffered a neurological impairment such as stroke, spinal cord injury, or peripheral neuropathy. A lower limb orthosis is an external device applied to a lower body segment to improve function by controlling motion providing support through stabilizing gait, reducing pain through transferring load to another area, correcting flexible deformities, 
and preventing progression of fixed deformities. The term caliper or calipers remains in widespread use for lower limb orthoses in the United Kingdom. Foot orthoses comprise a custom-made insert or footbed fitted into a shoe. Commonly referred to as orthotics these orthoses provide support for the foot by redistributing ground reaction forces as well as realigning foot joints while standing, walking or running. A great body of information exists within the orthotic literature describing the sciences that might be used to aid people with foot problems as well as the impact orthotics can have on foot, knee, hip, and spine deformities. They are used by everyone from athletes to the elderly to accommodate biomechanical deformities and a variety of soft tissue inflammatory conditions such as plantar fasciitis. They may also be used in conjunction with properly fitted orthopedic footwear in the prevention of foot ulcers in the at-risk diabetic foot. An ankle foot orthosis is an orthosis or brace that encumbers the ankle and foot. AFOs are externally applied and intended to control position and motion of the ankle, compensate for weakness, or correct deformities. AFOs can be used to support weak limbs, or to position a limb with contracted muscles into a more normal position. They are also used to immobilize the ankle and lower leg in the presence of arthritis or fracture, and to correct foot drop. An AFO is also known as a foot drop brace. Ankle foot orthoses are the most commonly used orthoses making up about 26% of all orthoses provided in the United States. According to a review of Medicare payment data from 2001 to 2006, the base cost of an AFO was about $500 to $700. An AFO is generally constructed of lightweight polypropylene-based plastic in the shape of an L with the upright portion behind the calf and the lower portion running under the foot. They are attached to the calf with a strap, and are made to fit inside accommodative shoes. The unbroken L shape of some designs provides rigidity, while other designs provide different types of control. Obtaining a good fit with an AFO involves one of two approaches. The International Red Cross recognizes four major types of AFOs. The International Committee of the Red Cross published its manufacturing guidelines for ankle foot orthoses in 2006. Its intent is to provide standardized procedures for the manufacture of high-quality modern, durable and economical devices to people with disabilities throughout the world. A custom-made ankle-slash-foot orthosis for the treatment of patients having plantar ulcers is disclosed, which comprises a rigid L-shaped support member and a rigid anterior support shell hingedly articulated to the L-shaped support member. The plantar portion of the L-shaped member further comprises at least one ulcer-protecting hollow spatially located for fitted placement in inferior adjacency to a user's plantar ulcer thus allowing the user to transfer the user's weight away from the plantar ulcer and facilitating plantar ulcer treatment. The anterior support shell is designed for lateral hinged attachment to the L-shaped member to take advantage of medial tibial flare structure for enhancing the weight-bearing properties of the disclosed orthosis. A flexible, polyethylene hinge member hingedly attaches the anterior support shell to the L-shaped member and securing straps securely attach the anterior support shell and fixed, weight-bearing relation about the proximal, anterior portion of the user's lower leg. A knee ankle foot orthosis is an orthosis that encumbers the knee, ankle, and foot. Motion at all three of these lower limb areas is affected by a KAFO and can include stopping motion, limiting motion, or assisting motion in any OR all of the three planes of motion in a human joint, sagittal, coronal, and axial. Mechanical hinges, 
as well as electrically controlled hinges have been used. Various materials for fabrication of a KAFO include but are not limited to metals, plastics, fabrics, and leather. Conditions that might benefit from the use of a KAFO include paralysis, joint laxity, or arthritis, fracture, and others. Although not as widely used as knee orthoses, KAFOs can make a real difference in the life of a paralyzed person, helping them to walk therapeutically or, in the case of polio patients, on a community level. These devices are expensive and require maintenance. Some research is being done to enhance the design, even NASA helped spearhead the development of a special knee joint for KAFOs. A knee orthosis or knee brace is a brace that extends above and below the knee joint and is generally worn to support or align the knee. In the case of diseases causing neurological or muscular impairment of muscles surrounding the knee, a KO can prevent flexion or extension instability of the knee. In the case of conditions affecting the ligaments or cartilage of the knee, a KO can provide stabilization to the knee by replacing the function of these injured or damaged parts. For instance, Knee braces can be used to relieve pressure from the part of the knee joint affected by diseases such as arthritis or osteoarthritis by realigning the knee joint into valgus or varus. In this way a KO may help reduce osteoarthritis pain. However, a knee brace is not meant to treat an injury or disease on its own, but is used as a component of treatment along with drugs, physical therapy, and possibly surgery. When used properly, a knee brace may help an individual to stay active by enhancing the position and movement of the knee or reducing pain. Prophylactic braces are used primarily by athletes participating in contact sports. Evidence about prophylactic knee braces the ones football linemen wear are often rigid with a knee hinge, indicates they are ineffective in reducing anterior cruciate ligament tears, but may be helpful in resisting medial and lateral collateral ligament tears. Functional braces are designed for use by people who have already experienced a knee injury and need support to recover from it. They are also indicated to help people who are suffering from pain associated with arthritis. They are intended to reduce the rotation of the knee and support stability. They reduce the chance of hyperextension, and increase the agility and strength of the knee. The majority of these are made of elastic. They are the least expensive of all braces and are easily found in a variety of sizes. Rehabilitation braces are used to limit the movement of the knee in both medial and lateral directions. These braces often have an adjustable range of motion stop potential for limiting flexion and extension following ACL reconstruction. They are primarily used after injury or surgery to immobilize the leg. They are larger in size than other braces, due to their function. Scoliosis a condition describing an abnormal curvature of the spine, may in certain cases be treated with spinal orthoses, such as the Milwaukee Brace, the Boston Brace, and Charleston Bending Brace. As this condition develops most commonly in adolescent females who are undergoing their pubertal growth spurt, Compliance with wearing is these orthoses is hampered by the concern these individuals have about changes in appearance and restriction caused by wearing these orthoses. Spinal orthoses may also be used in the treatment of spinal fractures. A Jewett brace, for instance, may be used to facilitate healing of an anterior wedge fracture involving the T10 to L3 vertebrae. A body jacket may be used to stabilize more involved fractures of the spine. The halo brace is a cervical thoracic orthosis used to immobilize the cervical spine, usually following fracture. The halo brace allows the least cervical motion of all cervical orthoses currently in use, 
it was first developed by Vernon L. Nickel at Rancho Los Amigos National Rehabilitation Center in 1955. Orthotists are healthcare professionals who specialize in the provision of orthoses. In the United States, orthotists work by prescription from a licensed healthcare provider. Physical therapists are not legally authorized to prescribe orthoses in the U.S. In the U.K., orthotists will often accept open referrals for orthotic assessment without a specific prescription from doctors or other healthcare professionals. In Canada, a certified orthotist CO provides clinical assessment, treatment plan development, patient management, technical design, and fabrication of custom orthoses to maximize patient outcomes. To become SPPO certified through Orthotics Prosthetics Canada an applicant must successfully meet the following requirements, be fluent in French or English, be a Canadian citizen or legal landed immigrant, graduate from an OPC-approved post-secondary clinical prosthetic and orthotic program, complete a minimum 3,450 hours of residency in orthotics under the direct supervision of a Canadian certified orthodist, successfully challenge the written, oral and practical national certification. Exams Upon successful completion of the national certification exams, candidates are conferred the designation of Canadian Certified Orthodist CO. In the UK orthodists assess patients, and where appropriate design and fit orthoses for any part of the body. Registration is with the Health and Care Professions Council and BAPO, the British Association of Prosthetists and Orthodists. The training is a Bachelor's of Science in Prosthetics and Orthotics at either the University of Salford or University of Strathclyde. New graduates are therefore eligible to work as an orthodist and slash or prosthetist. Podiatrists are the other profession involved with foot orthotic provision. They are also registered with the Health and Care Professions Council. Podiatrists assess gait to provide orthotics to improve foot function and alignment or may use orthoses to redistribute stress on pressure areas for those with diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis. A licensed orthodist is an orthodist who is recognized by the particular state in which they are licensed to have met basic standards of proficiency as determined by examination and experience to adequately and safely contribute to the health of the residents of that state. An American Board of Certification Certified Orthodist has met certain standards, these include a degree in orthotics, completion of a one-year residency at an approved clinical site, and passing a rigorous three-part exam. A certified orthodist is an orthodist who has passed the certification standards of the American Board of Certification in Orthotics, Prosthetics, and Pediatrics. Other credentialing bodies who are involved in orthotics include the Board for Orthotic Certification, the Pharmaceutical Industry, the Pediatric Foot Care Association, and various of the professional associations who work with athletic trainers physical and occupational therapists, and orthopedic technologists slash cast technicians. Four universities including the Iran University of Medical Science, Isfahan University of Medical Science, University of Social Welfare and Rehabilitation Sciences and Iran Red Crescent University confer Bachelor of Science in the Prosthetics and Orthotics. Three universities including Isfahan University of Medical Science, the Iran University of Medical Science and University of Social Welfare and Rehabilitation Science also confer Master of Science and Ph.D. New bachelor graduates are eligible to work as an orthodist and prosthetist after registration in the Medical Council of Iran. Control, guide, limit, and slash or immobilize an extremity, joint or body segment for a particular reason, restrict movement in a given direction, 
assist movement generally, reduce weight-bearing forces for a particular purpose, aid rehabilitation from fractures after the removal of a cast, otherwise correct the shape and slash or function of the body, to provide easier movement capability or reduce pain.